Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to make zucchini chips for the first time in my dehydrator. And I'm gonna use probably the green and yellow squash. And I'm gonna use some barbecue sauce and then we'll see what else. And I'm gonna use my little mandolin here to slice it all. Then I got my little dehydrator sheets out and I'm gonna put, you know, covers on them. You'll see in a second after I cut these up. Wow, these two are freaking huge, so I might not need to use any of the yellow squash. Especially since this is my first batch. It's huge. I'm like, that's freaking huge. <laughs> so, I don't want to make too many at first because I don't know how they're going to turn out. So I'm just going to start with these two, I think. All right, so I've got this bowl of the two zucchinis. I did um, a fourth of an inch on one of them and then three sixteenth of an inch on the second one. And that one was a lot easier to slice than the fourth of an inch one. And I'm gonna use this barbecue sauce from Fresh and Easy. And I'm gonna mix it all up in here, put it on the sheets, and then I'm gonna also sprinkle it with some garlic and some no salt seasoning. Costco. And that'll be my first try. We'll see how they turn out. I didn't measure, I just poured some on top and I'm gonna mix it with a spoon. All right, so this is a lot easier if you mix it with your hands. And <laughs> now I'm gonna lay them out on here. All the sizes are mixed up, so it'll be both sizes on each tray. I don't know how many is in here. I don't know how many trays it'll take. I think the book said four hours, dehydrate them for four hours, so I'll be able to check on them later today and then leave them in there for longer if they need it. Alright, so here's with the seasoning on and I'm gonna stick this tray in the dehydrator. I'm not gonna turn it on yet until I have my other tray ready. All right, this made about three trays worth. This one's a little sparse on the end, but that's kind of a lot for just two zucchinis, even though they're pretty large. But anyway, I'm gonna, um, well, obviously I'm gonna put the lid on it. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on 125. is what the book says that the Excalibur came uh, with, but um, 115 is like, if I want to keep it more of a raw food, not kill the enzymes. So I'm going to try 115 and see how they turn out. Alright, let's check on these things. I checked them like two hours ago and I had to turn the heat up because they just were not drying fast enough. They smell really good. This is the one I tried to lift up before. They're kind of still pretty watery. Mm, I hope they're gonna be ready before I go to bed. Huh? I'm gonna eat one. I'm gonna eat this one. Can I see? Ooh! Well, they taste good, but they taste like a fruit roll-up. Or not like taste, but they have a texture of a fruit roll-up. They, they look good. They taste really good. I hope that they dry in the chips before bedtime. All right, these were taking forever, so I had turned them up to 145 degrees. I had them on 125, and before that I had them on 115, and they've been in here for like seven hours. They're taking way too long. 
I don't know if it's because I cut them too thick or because of the barbecue sauce or because I was trying to keep them raw at first and leaving it at 115 degrees. It's just taking way too long. Oh, this is really hot. I'm hoping that they're done because I need to go to bed soon. <laughs> I don't want to leave them in here overnight. Well, they're definitely still like not crispy. Dang, if I should turn them all over. It's taking too long, you guys. I never can seem to dehydrate things properly. <laughs> but they are good. Very tasty. Dang. I just realized it's probably because I stuck them on this sheet instead of the um, like plastic one that the air can flow through. I think that's where I made my mistake. If I dehydrate these for any longer, they're just gonna disappear. So I think I'm just gonna leave them as little chewy, almost like fruit snacks, savory fruit snacks. Because yeah, they taste really good. But they're pretty much just gonna disappear to nothing if I keep dehydrating them. And it's already 10 p.m. I don't wanna go to bed soon, so that's okay. I'll just try it with the other trays the next time. And anyway, if you guys want to try them and use the other sheets that have the airflow through the bottom, that would probably be a much better idea. But the barbecue sauce with the garlic powder and the no, the Costco no salt seasoning, really good flavor. So give them a try. Let me know what you think. And of course, like I said, make them the right way. <laughs> I'm still new at this, so I'm still learning. So it tastes really good on top of a salad. <laughs> So yeah, they're not going to go to waste. I'm still going to eat them. They're good. Very tasty.